an epic victory celebrated in the Museum of London. 100 years since the first British women got the vote, all thanks to the suffragettes who took on the establishment and won. It wasn't easy. They chained themselves to fences outside Parliament. Many were arrested, beaten, went on hunger strike. One even threw herself at the king's horse in the famous Derby race. She died, but the cause did not. The suffragettes struggled, but they ultimately won. But what would they make of British society today? 100 years on, would they believe that women have achieved true equality? It wasn't until 1928 that younger and poorer women were also given the vote. And, says this very in-character actor, the suffragettes always hoped to inspire future generations. When we win our fight, that's not going to be the end of all the fights. You know, we're going to have to keep fighting, I'm sure. And I just hope that we can set the precedent for that and that they, you know, keep fighting just as hard as we are. She, no doubt, would agree. Emmeline Pankhurst, leader of the suffragettes and great-grandmother of Helen, who wonders if the glass is only half full. In every single measure of political equality, we still have so far to go. In every single parliament, and in particular in the UK, we only have 32% representation. If you look at all other aspects of democracy, so the legal system, the, the media reporting of parliament and of politics, we still have a lot to go. Live from Soho Theatre in London. The Comedy throws light on women's struggles today. This is humiliating, but it also made it a feminist week. It's the first week in our relationship that I out-earned him. <laughs> With British institutions, from Parliament to the BBC, hit by revelations of gender discrimination. It feels like we're just failing over and over, but we have to remember the suffragettes failed for over 50 years. They only succeeded once and we only need to su succeed once. Their impossible is our normal life, and we are the hopes of the suffragettes. Yeah. Our debt to the heroines of the past, maligned in their day as misguided radicals, we remember them as being on the right side of history. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, London.